All right, here we are. You know, we have less than a week to go. Um, majority of y'all did exam three, did very well on it. You know, a few people struggling here and there with, uh, you know, the logarithms, uh, law of sines, law of cosines, you know, practice it, try to get some help with it, whatever I suggested, follow through. But the main thing I, I can't stress enough is the importance of preparing for this final. Now, I just looked online at the class, and I noticed about five or six of y'all have already taken the, the practice final exam. So, great. Very good. Um, you know, I want everybody to pass the final. Okay? I really do. Um, the final exam is very similar to the practice one. The only thing you have to be careful about is relying too much on outside resources. Okay, because when you go to take this proctored final, whether you're doing it, you know, um, at home with Proctor U or at a testing center, you have to prepare like you're going to be in the testing center. So, in other words, when I say the outside resources, you know, whether you're using an app that helps you solve, um, whether you're using my videos, the book, the notes, whatever you have to prepare for the final like you're taking the final so what I suggest to do is create your cheat sheet you get the one page front and back um, create the cheat sheet and use it only <clears throat> so that'll let you know right away what you know how to do what you don't and then maybe there's some things that are giving you trouble you can adjust it so use that cheat sheet to your advantage I'm letting you bring one so make it so it's going to help you, because I do want you to pass the final. Um, but you're not going to pass it if you don't practice. So for those five or six y'all that have already taken the practice final exam, I really think that, that you're headed for success. Um, for those y'all that uh, aren't or that will take it an hour before you take the final, you know, good luck, okay? Because oftentimes that doesn't work. Um, but those people probably aren't watching this video anyway and so uh, I know how it goes y'all just delete my emails not everybody but some of y'all uh, then you're shocked what do you mean I flunked the class so you have to pass the final to pass the class it doesn't matter if you've got a hundred percent average and you make a 30 on the final your average might still be an A but you flunk okay so pass the final you need a 60 you can do it Okay, as long as you've been doing your own work this semester, you'll be able to do the final. All right, so just prepare. So good luck to you. Um, the final, again, it must be taken by Wednesday, May 2nd. So if you have not scheduled a testing time yet, please do so. Um, wherever your local campus is, there's a link uh, in the class, Proctored Final Exam Information. Click on that. I'm not going to like explain it to you. I'm going to tell you to go there. So it tells you everything you need to know. All right, so good luck. And um, probably will not hear from me again unless you happen to see me at one of the testing centers. Uh, but uh, I wish you well. All right, and so uh, good luck in whatever you do. Goodbye.